thought the film Risen was fantastic. It was uh, mystical, it had a great story, and it gives you a chance to kind of see what was happening in those days from a new vantage point. The experience was so great to see Risen. You know, we get to see it from the perspective of after Christ is risen. And we really get to watch somebody take a journey of what it would look like that they haven't they haven't had that faith. They haven't been walking knowing who Jesus is. It's a movie that makes you think. It's not your typical Christian-themed movie, even though it's dominated with Christian themes. If you're an atheist, a new believer, an unbeliever, I think you can find yourself in this film. I thought the movie was very powerful. It was, uh, it was exciting. It was emotional. It was just really moving just to think about stories that I've read my whole life in a different way. This is a tool. I think the movie provides a non-threatening way for people to present the gospel and to talk about God. And the dialogue that takes place is a lot like what takes place when we're trying to share a witness with other people. It's an absolute must-see. It's really concise in, in bringing you that period of time, that week after the crucifixion. Oh my gosh, it's something that uh, I think will we'll just stimulate people's minds. Just to think about what's going on in Jerusalem at the time. Um, because so often we read scripture, we hear it, and we think line and verse, right? And instead, it's, now we're getting more into the emotions, the people, the players, the history as well. And what could have been there? How could people have responded? Because obviously we don't rely just on scripture for our understanding. It was all about relationships, and that's, that's what we focus on uh, more than religion and the disciples, their relationship with each other and their love and devotion to Christ was all about relationship. I just thought it was the hidden story that we have overlooked. Um, we kind of ended with Jesus Rose and that's our hope, but um, there was really this conspiracy. The resurrection is the most significant event in human history. Who's got enough guts and courage to sh make a movie about that? But this one covers all generations and all demographic people groups and, and it has a message for everyone. That's what's unique about this film. I'm a youth worker, and so I'm so excited for other youth pastors to get behind this movie, take their students to it. It was thoughtful and well done, and production values were great, but it was intense. Like, the action scenes were full of action. For many students, they're gonna look at the screen and kind of see themselves and go, is Jesus who he said he is? And is this, is God and all this stuff for real? And do I believe it? And that's exactly what the characters are showing on screen, too. This whole story, of, of Clavius and his search and his spiritual journey to understand it's okay to ask the hard questions. Uh, it's okay to kind of struggle, if you will, to that, to that line of faith. I think my favorite thing about Risen was that I got to watch the story of the gospel from the perspective of someone who didn't grow up knowing the story. And so the Savior who dies and rises again is true and massively moving. But to see the story as if I'm seeing it for the first time, it's that perspective is what sets this movie apart and makes it both powerful to the believer and what will be certainly powerful for someone who's not a believer. Where does he go? You tell me. It's the kind of movie that you can bring your friend to and say, one, I'm proud of the quality of it. And two, there's spiritual value and takeaway from someone who doesn't know the whole story of the gospel What's exciting is we have more faith-based films that we can actually support today. And I really believe as Christians and as the church that we should support these, um, not just in going to them, but when we see one that can impact people who are not Christians, the even better thing to do is to say, I want to go and I want to bring somebody with me. We're here to make disciples. And so when we see something that really is a tool, not only do we want to support it, but we want to leverage it to try to help other people experience the power of the gospel through a means of communication that goes broader than our own ability just for the spoken words. Who told you that Nazarene was alive? Mary Magdalene. You're looking for something you'll never find. Open your heart. And so I would just say get ready to um, have your faith go to another level in terms of being able to see possibilities. The scenes where you see this Roman soldier explore what could be, afraid of what might be, just this journey of his desire to figure out what really happened to Jesus, which I think gives everybody who watches a chance to figure out for themselves, if this is true, how will this change my life?